So they've been in this kind of position before with sides happy to try and soak up the pressure. Here's Milo, he's done really well to hold it up and then bring Beasley into play. Broadfoot ahead of him. Lasley. And just trying to commit himself. Uh, Malcolm won the ball. Now Beasley may well have hurt his ankle there. It seemed to be a, a nasty fall as he went for the ball. It was a legitimate challenge by Malcolm, but. Beasley down hurt. Daly. Davis. Chris Boyd trying to find the yard of space. Graham Smith at full stretch, but it went wide. Two minutes of time to be added on at the end of this first half. Here's Chris Boyd. Miller. Now Pedro Mendes. Mendes. Now Davis. Not his best. Lasley. Just in the closing moments of stoppage time, will there be one last opportunity for Rangers to try and take an advantage into the half-time break? Here's Davis. Launched high by Daly. Miller. Broadfoot. Well, this time last week, Rangers trailed here at half time to kill Marnet. They came back to win that game. But no way through so far for them, although Kenny Miller has twice come close in a game that has uh, been lively for referee Eddie Smith. Welcome back to Ibrox, the second half underway. Rangers nil, Motherwell nil. Rangers hoping to increase the gap at the top of the table. They need a breakthrough. The one major source for concern for Walter Smith, Alan McCoy, and Kenny McDowell will be that for all the possession they've created, they haven't really worked Graham Smith in the Motherwell goal. Kenny Miller's had the best chances. One was saved, and the other agonizingly just passed the post as far as he was concerned. It's been a staunch rear guard action from Motherwell. Had a few nervy moments, particularly dealing with that man. And he's uh, in the, been in the wars, as you can see, battle scarred. Not knock uh, by his temple, picked up as he just narrowly fired wide in the first half. Probably the clearest opportunity that they've created. Motherwell yet to force. And Neil Alexander, who's in, in place of Alan McGregor today, into any kind of save at all. spectator for the vast majority of the afternoon. Craig, one of two Motherwell defenders on a yellow card. Here's the other Paul Quinn. Flag up. Given away by David Clarkson. Very irate. And the free kick to be 
taken from roughly where the infringement happened. Motherwell a little bit of time to regain their shape behind the ball. Boy for Davis. Away by Reynolds, but not particularly convincingly, although Lasley can help the course. Quinn. Sutton kept it in and gave it away. It's a Rangers throw. his head into try and get there. Clark almost took his head off. Here's Malcolm. <laughs> Ali McCoy far from happy, bellowing at referee Eddie Smith for giving the free kick to Rangers for that. And all back to his own goal. He's in the straight to Boy. Reynolds across the cover. Daly. Miller trying to work the angle in towards Beasley. The return ball was ooh, good intentions. Surely Rangers. The game continues in this vein. Have to find a breakthrough. Davis. Stretch to clear. Malcolm alive to the threat of Thompson coming in from behind him. Stephen Hughes. Sutton chasing after it gamely. And there was a hand in the back of Davy Weir. Free kick goes to Rangers. Mr. Wells is coming back to Scotland. John Sutton scoring in all three SPL games he's played since his return north. He had a Brief sojourn in the, in the second division or League Two with Wickham. Left St Mirren. Sutton, He's behind Clarkson who did well to rescue it, here's Quinn, Clarkson, well, I haven't been able to get into that kind of position often enough to be as wasteful as that. Cragen wins the battle against Boyd and wins the free kick. Same ball that time. Lasley, Quinn. Now David Clarkson, a bit of space ahead of him. Porter makes a run, he's got Stephen Hughes to his left. And he's back in for David Clarkson. Good goalkeeping, Alexander. Saw the danger early. And there were clear danger signs that he had to win the ball cleanly, otherwise a penalty and worse. Good goalkeeping from the man brought back into the side today. He hasn't had too much to do, Neil Alexander, in which time powers of concentration put under pressure. He did okay. Mendes. Daly. Men 
Fernandez. Miller. Kenny Miller again for Beasley. Cleverly done. Good save from Smith. And Quinn's there to steer away the follower. He's the hero in France and he's the hero at Ibrox so far for Motherwell. Here's Broadfoot. Turns it onto his favoured right foot. Reynolds with an important defensive header. There's Davis. Made ground in the centre. Now Daly. Kevin Thompson. Good strike. Goalkeeper flew to his left. Reynolds took one for the team. Rangers fans buoyed by this. Miller. Thompson. Miller. Boyd flicking back behind Davis. They're waiting for each other to clear it. Hamill eventually takes responsibility. And he wins the free kick. And the referee's whistle will be music to the ears of the Motherwell defenders under severe pressure there. Substitution for Motherwell replacing at number 11, John Sutton. John Sutton, brother of former and coming on Celtic again, man Chris three, Sutton. Jamie Murphy. Replaced by Jamie Murphy, who's invariably been used as a substitute this season. And he comes on to replace Sutton eight minutes into the second half. Side, uh, of the three up front at the moment, with Porter moving into a more central position for Motherwell. Here's Miller. Playing it again, anticipating ahead of Boy. Mendes. Davis. Lovely control. Oh, Pedro Mendes unlucky. Perhaps hasn't been able to exert quite the influence on this game as he has on his previous matches for Rangers. He really has made some impact in the four games he's played since moving up from Portsmouth. Was caught as well, won by Davis. Daly. Hughes. shirt on Craig and the referee's assistant spotted that but it was some attempt from Chris Boyd an instinctive effort on goal well, Wada Smith will be hoping that Boyd can emulate his heroics from eight days ago he scored twice in four minutes against Kilmarnock turn a 1-0 deficit into a 2-1 win one goal might be enough today Underneath it, Davis is onside and scores! Finally, Rangers get the breakthrough, and it's Stephen Davis that gives them the lead. Well, it was Mark Reynolds that got caught underneath the ball. It's a good flick on. Davis makes his run here, Hamill tries to play him off, and he must have been close. Good finish by Davis. And a nice ball to find him as well from Kenny Miller. But it was right on the line. Really close call, the assistant referee kept his flag down. And Davis scores his first goal of the season, only his second in a Rangers shirt, as they find the breakthrough.
Miller. Mendes. Never afraid to try the spectacular Pedro Mendes. Try to goal this hour from uh, miles out at Old Trafford. It's now wrongly. It's close range by his standards. Broadfoot for pace, and he got it across. We're not in a position to take any chances. And he concedes the first corner of the Motherwell of one. Clarkson waiting on the penalty spot. Motherwell's first corner of the game in towards the near post, and Boyd's flick on might have been dangerous. But he got enough on it. Laslick, nice turn inside Davis. Ball chipped into space. Boyd back to clear. And Hamill's effort well wide. Well, Hamill, one of the players that was trying to play Stephen Davis offside. And it didn't quite get him off. Let's have another look. Just when Kenny Miller played the ball, just watch the positioning. Hamill, the number three, steps forward here. They try to get him. When the ball is played, Hamill hasn't quite gone out far enough. The assistant referee's decision looks to be absolutely spot on. He's one of those that's so tight, even if the assistant referee had got it wrong, he could have understood him getting it wrong. Just to give the uh, attacking side the benefit of the doubt. A close inspection, and it did need close inspection, proved that it was a very good decision. Clarkson's ball, not the best, he's presented it straight to Kenny Miller here. Davis, and Christian Daly on the overlap with Pedro Mendes arriving, came behind him, Miller couldn't get the shot in as he wanted. The presence of Craig and enough to dissuade him. Now Lasley to Clarkson. Great challenge by Davis. More his game than many scoring goals. Beasley. Daly. so far this season was at Easter Road against Hibbs. A late goal from John Sutton, in fact. Sutton and Clarkson have scored all six Motherwell goals this season between them. And Sutton has now made way for Jamie Murphy. Some of the Motherwell players visibly tiring after their midweek travels and exertions. Here's Daly. Mendes, Thompson, Miller, nice touch from him for Boyd, the return ball for Kenny Miller, and Boyd went shoulder to shoulder with Hamill, and the referee's going to book him for diving, yellow card for Chris Boyd. Good into play again between Miller and Boyd. Hamill went shoulder to shoulder with him. He did go down easily, Chris Boyd. I just wonder how much contact had been made. Eddie Smith thought that the contact wasn't significant. And Boyd's in the book.
Reynolds. Hamill. Now Clarkson. Beasley got a sore one. It was uh, a complete accident. David Clarkson. Here's Mendes. Now Thompson. Darren Smith is being readied. And uh, we'll be on in a moment. Stephen Hughes, well with the player to make way, he did look tired as a ball was played towards him a few moments ago. He did look leaden footed, perhaps understandably, after the shift that he put in in France in the week. free kick been in too much danger since taking the lead some eight minutes ago Hughes Acknowledge them. The Rangers still in possession, allowed to get on with it. Here's Miller. Look at the angle to find somebody upfield. Nally McCoy's absolutely furious at his inability to be able to keep possession there. Hamill. sure it doesn't go out of play for a corner. It's going to play for a throw though in front of the United Motherwell supporters. One who made the substitution there but they restarted play too quickly. Weir not with the best clearance. An opportunity perhaps for Murphy. Couldn't get the ball out from underneath his feet and Mendes clears. Then given back to Cragen who's caught by his international teammate Davis. And now Motherwell will make the change. And Darren Smith is going to come on. Another well season ticket holder so as a boy. He will be on to replace Stephen Hughes, who's returned to Ibrox. He's curtailed midway through the second Stephen half. Hughes coming on, number 12, Darren Smith. only ever scored twice for Motherwell in over 260 games for the club. Standing over this free kick but doesn't go for goal into a dangerous area. Aguero might have let that run. Here's Davis. Craigan there ahead of Boyd. Daly trying to take it on past Smith. Hamill. Nice ball from Malcolm, well kept in by Murphy. Ahead of Jamie Murphy as he takes on Kirk Broadfoot. He's done well to get it across. Just a little bit too steep for Clarkson. Here's Lasley. Clarkson 
great attempt and a good save from Neil Alexander. He was on target. And before Hamill takes the corner, the referee just wants to have a word with a couple of the protagonists inside the penalty area, jockeying for position. And Bob Malcolm amongst them, surprisingly. And swinging from Hamill. Porter couldn't get there, it's off the top of Bagheera's head, volley back in by Clarkson dangerously. Ritchie's back off Clarkson, two safety as far as Rangers are concerned. And here's Miller for Mendes, Beasley makes his way forward, good way to pass towards Demarcus Beasley, but his first touch just gave Reynolds the opportunity to come back clear. pace but no one has the beating of him for experience and then just use that to keep his body between Porter and the ball. Here's Darren Smith, this is Motherwell's best period of the game by a streak. Running at Daly. And the looping header from Jamie Murphy on target but he had to really try and engineer the situation from a difficult cross. Rangers are going to be making a change in a moment. I'll be very surprised if it's not Chris Boyd that comes off. Nacho Novo, the player who's going to come on. But here is Boyd. A stumble that time. No appeals from the Rangers striker who's already got one yellow card for diving. That clearly wasn't a dive, it was just a fall. Nice turn by Murphy. Thompson, space with which to work and options as well, Beasley was one of them making his way forward, was cut out though by Quinn. I just wonder whether perhaps Rangers will need a second goal here. Alexander hopes not, and certainly has got his clean sheet and tap with one, a very impressive save. That's to Marcus Beasley who's going to make way. Stricken by the injury last season. And he's going to come off to be replaced by Nacho Novo. His just the second start of the season. Beasley. And he'll be replaced by Novo, who missed the start of this season through suspension, having been sent off by it. And replacing the number 10, Nacho Novo. At the end of last season, as always, a big reception for the Spaniard. games in Scotland now, Nacho Novo, the majority of them for Rangers. Clarkson. Porter. He'll keep it in. Pulls it back well. Shot across the bows, which Alexander could have done little about. Nobody able to follow up on Clarkson's attempt. All of a sudden, Motherwell look a completely different entity going forward. It's a pretty clear-cut decision, but the referee allow play to go on, Murphy the player that has got away with that, here's Lasley. Final quarter of an hour approaches, Motherwell giving it a good go now to try and get back into the game and Rangers just forced back defensively inside their own half, defending much deeper now. Craigan away by Bagheera. Well committed 
bodies four through the midfield. The second ball always likely to be won by a blue shirt, it was Miller. And here's Nacho Novo's first chance to run at Cragen. Novo's beaten him. Shot beat the post. Beat him easily. He had Boyd waiting in the centre. He went for the near post instead of one of his teammates. Daily. Davis <laughs> fouled by Malcolm. He could take it quickly by Davis for Miller. Davis, whose goal separates these sides as they enter the final 15 minutes. Here's Davis again. Now Kenny Miller, three to away, Matt. Punched away, and then into Novo. It's a freakish goal, really. But it is that little bit of breathing space for Rangers, who double their lead through Nacho Novo. Well, Nova will claim the goal. I wonder if perhaps the last touch did come on Paul Quinn. This should clear it up. Davis doing well to find Miller. Smith made the clearance. He punched it into Nacho Nova. And I don't think slightly back Quinn can do anything to get it away. It will go down as a Novo goal. His first of the season. Not the most aesthetically pleasing, perhaps, but potentially a very important one. Set up by Miller. Converted after a fashion by Novo. Breathing space for Rangers. Here's Lasley. Smith. Davis. Miller. Well kept in by Novo, but to no avail ultimately. Mendes. Reynolds. Chris Porter. Here's Malcolm. Clarkson. Murphy. He's looked lively since coming on. Francis' his chances against Kurt Broadfoot, and he's won another corner. Not many clubs come to Ibrox and win three times as many corners as their hosts, but that's the situation Motherwell find themselves in. And ultimately, it's the 2-0 scoreline against them that matters. And it comes from Murphy. Quinn's attacking it. It's well defended by Broadfoot, made sure that he didn't get a clear run at the ball. Still, Neil Alexander has his clean sheet intact. It will be his seventh for Rangers. Malcolm. Murphy.
Now Smith. Hamill. Trying to uh, probe an opening and get David Clarkson in behind Bagheera. No foul by Cragen on Miller. Lasley. Murphy. Cragen. Trying to get it through for Lasley, but out of play for a goal kick. And McCoist has been up and down even more than he normally is. This hyperactivity perhaps belying a little bit of a frustration with some of Rangers play inside the final third. The second goal has changed the whole aura of this fixture. Here's Porter. And the signs of a Motherwell fight back surely have been snuffled out now. Pedro Mendes. Novo, score of the second goal. And he will get there, Cragen. Losing his bearings. Miller. Trying to thread it through Kenny Miller. He made a wonderful pass for the first goal for Davis. A wonderful pass for the second goal for Nacho Novo. He's been the architect rather than the goal scorer today. Smith. Davis coming in from his blind side. Lasley. The Rangers in action against uh, Pardick Thistle during the week. Their next league game sees them in Edinburgh away to Hibbs, who won their last two. Solid job down at Hamilton yesterday. Courtesy of a goal from Derek Ryden, who I'm sure will get a warm reception from the Rangers supporters. The Rangers without another game here for four weeks until Dundee United are the visitors on the 18th of October. Quinn. Murphy. He's done well to put it in. And is that one back? It's off the post. Clarkson unlucky. Didn't really get a true contact on it, but it spun off his foot. And Alexander delighted to see it spin back off the post into safety. And now straight away, Rangers break at the other end.